Welcome back to episode 3 of the series. We are going to implement Socket.io in our Node.js backend and uh, we are gonna implement this or small parts of it in our front end already so we are able to connect to our socket. Let's go to our backend. We got an empty index.js and at this uh, at part one we've implemented Socket.io and Express. Uh, as you can see Socket.io has a version of 3 and above. So this is important. Socket.io uh, 2.0 uh, and 3.0 has um, many differences. And let's go to the index.js. We are going to implement Express firstly. We are co uh, creating a constant and we are taking Express here. And after this, we need to specify, or uh, we we need to get HTTP, HTTP. Normally, Express has this already uh, under the hood, but we need this for Socket.io, otherwise it won't work. And after this, we are creating a server with it, and then we are getting our Socket.io and require this by calling require socket.io and we have to instantiate our HTTP server here in it and we do need calls enabled otherwise we are not able to communicate between our front end and our back end because they are two separate uh, instances or yeah, applications cause true and the origins can be everywhere so we do this with star After this, we want to run our server. This is uh, this can be done by calling, or we need to specify our port. And for this, we are calling process uh, dot env dot port. So actually, if there is a port specified by the environment variables, we are taking this one. Otherwise, we are just taking three thousand. And then we are calling HTTP server dot listen to a to the port and we give a console log when the server is running. Server is running on port port. Am I doing something wrong? Oh yeah, I forgot this here and port and save this. Port is not defined actually, yeah, this has to be and now the server is running on port 3000. Okay, now we want to implement uh, the first methods of Socket.io. We are going to implement the connection um, of Socket.io. So actually when the client, or when in general a client connects to our backend, we need to uh, know that. And we are calling io.on and on connection we want to do something. So we get the socket or the client which is connecting to the socket eye and we firstly want to console log this out that a user has connected a user connected connected save this and we are going to test this now we we are going to implement socket eye on our front end now we have done this already by oops by implementing the socket io client npm package but now we need to implement our services uh, maybe you got this uh, this error too actually i've committed uh, a file which uh, is missing the start game component uh, start game method just go into the uh, game component ts and just implement this one um, we have done this in the video, but when you are taking it from our GitHub server, or from my GitHub, uh, you will have this error maybe. Okay, now we are going to implement the service, and this will be done by calling ng. Oh wait, we, we are going to implement this in an integrated terminal ng generate service, and we're calling it socket io, and there is one file now in there and we we do need the socket actually socket socket 
and this should be for dgram it should be for also not for net but we, we will implement that in a second and we would like to connect actually and how are we going to do this um, we want to get the socket of uh, of it when we are connecting and we are just calling io and then we want to connect to our backend and we're going to use environment dot and then we have to specify a specific environment variable which we want to use and actually this will be socket underscore endpoint and we are calling our local host local host 3 sound and oops, comma save this and now we can call this socket endpoint and now we have to import all our, s our missing imports I will copy paste this actually don't forget it, it has to be IO and socket from a socket.io client and we are going to implement this in our game component TS so actually when we are entering this component we want to call or we want to join our um, yeah, call this method in our service. So we have to implement this service by per injection and socket IO service. No, I don't want to have this. I want to have socket IO service. I like to have this, something like that. And then we have to call connect. And when we let this run now, we are getting a console log in our uh, backend system. The server is running, and when I refresh and create game, our backend system should have a console log here. A user connected perfectly, so it was working. Socket.io has many possibilities to implement some methods and also some uh, specific or different uh, methods to send messages to clients and I will show you some of them so let's start it with it we we are having the socket here and we can call socket.emit and then we need an event name actually we call it message here and we can uh, type our message in it here. So we just call it, hey, I just connected. And this message will be sent only to the client who connected. So it won't be sent to, to the other clients. Uh, you're able to send all clients except the sender messages with this function you can call it socket.broadcast.emit and then also uh, again an event type by with a message like hi this message is sent to everyone except the sender so actually the client who connected and then you are also able to call um, or send message to everyone so actually you can call this by io.emit and then you are able to send a message and for this you are also you don't need to type any uh, event you can just call io.emit and then the message so this is sent to everyone sent to everyone and this yeah this te this text is getting sent to everyone but there are two important parts actually we, which uh, we will use so uh, there's one feature which is called io uh, socket.join and socket.join does uh, the thing that we are able to join a room and socket.io is uh, having this feature already so we just join a uh, room on on the event connection uh, so actually when we are joining a room or a game uh, we are inserting our unique ID after this uh, in here and the client is uh, in a room then after that so here is a unique here is a unique unique ID for the room for the room 
after this we want to call or we want to send some specific messages only to this room and we are able to do this with uh, socket socket dot two and then the room name so actually our game uh, unique uh, unique uh, string or unique ID and then we are able to emit a message to it and also we are able to send an event name actually a message and this message will only will be broadcast uh, not broadcast it will be sent to yeah uh, to the yeah to the room um, important here is we are emitting with socket uh, to dot emit and this won't be sent to the to the sender it only will be sent to all the rest of the guys who are in this room so this m message will be sent to everyone in the room except the sender and when you want to send um, a message to everyone uh, who is in the room you have to call io dot to the name of the the room actually and then the same oops and this message will be sent to everyone in the room also the client i hope you got a small overview of socket io and all the possibilities you have um, I will add a cheat sheet link uh, of Socket.io itself in our description down below and in the next video we, are, we will implement the logic how the client or the front end can uh, join our um, back end and communicate with each other so that we are able to send uh, words or a specific state of the game to our back end and send this one to another client. See you till then and subscribe and like my video if you liked it if you have some questions just uh, leave a comment below bye bye